Owen, welcome to the cave. Thank you for having me on. How are you, my friend? I'm doing really well. How are you? Good, good. good. How's uh, everything in the Cobra Kai world? How's that treating you? I'd say it's been fine. Yeah, there you go. So uh, yeah, before we jump into Cobra Kai, um, this was this was your first gig, right? Uh, yes, yes, it was. So, uh, how did you? Uh, at what age did you decide this is you wanted to you wanted to get into acting? A few years ago, as soon as I did Cobra Kai. Really? So tell us tell us a story about that. Like, how did you audition for this? And uh... right, so I started off as a background actor. This was it was my first background acting job too. I, I never even thought about it before. I just thought this would be something really cool to do. And after about a few weeks on set, eventually they asked me if I wanted to uh, audition for a role. And I was like, okay. So I, I auditioned for that. A few weeks later, I got the part. Wow. How old were you? I was 13 or 14. Wow. So uh, like growing up, like uh, what were like some of your things that you um... – enjoyed watching TV movies that kind of gave you an idea like this is what I want to get into and like who was like your role model like who did you look up to I wouldn't say I had a specific role model I liked watching a lot of action movies yeah what were some of them uh I like superhero movies those are those are really cool yeah so so when you when they offered you the part of uh Bert like did you have to do anything for it exactly like um, well, they, once I told them, yes, I think maybe a few days after I, uh, confirmed I could do it, they, they had me go into, uh, an area near where set was. And I just went into this little room with a couple of people. I said some lines they gave me and that was about it. Wow. So when they told you, okay, you're on the cast, you're going to be part of Cobra Kai, uh, you're going to join the Cobra Kai to uh, dojo. What was that like for you? That was really cool. <laughs> Um, it was, yeah, it was, it was, it was weird. I had never really thought beforehand that this would be something I would ever like get into. Yeah. So, so like getting this far was just, uh, it, it had never, it had just never, uh, come up. <laughs> so, uh, did you go back to watch the originals? Did you ever watch the originals when you were younger? I had seen the first one before, but I didn't remember it well. After Cobra Kai, I did go back and watch uh, the first three, which I really enjoyed. Yeah. So in season one, um, in season one, you know, you joined the dojo, you trained everything, you even uh, fought in the All Valley. Like, tell us about that. How exciting was that? Uh, yeah, that was really cool. We we were filming in obviously like this very large room with a whole you know audience and stuff. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, at times that felt a little bit intimidating, but, uh, you know, it, it, it was fine, but it was, it was really exciting to get to watch people, you know, uh, fighting all around you. Yeah. So the first two seasons were in on YouTube, but then, uh, the big announcement was made that Netflix bought the rights. They moved over. Did you know that once it moved over to Netflix, that it was going to become even bigger? Did you have a feeling? Yeah, I'd say I had a feeling. Uh, I, I knew, I always knew it was going to be big. So when, when it was on YouTube, I was like, I feel like it should be bigger than this. So, so when I heard it was going to Netflix, I was like, this is the chance it needs. Yeah. So what, what was your reaction last weekend? It premiered, you know, like number one, it's still number one. And it was, it's even number one in a few countries also. Right. What's been like the reaction from like your friends, you know, cast members? What have you guys been saying to each other? Yeah, no, it's 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 really cool to be able to uh, just just see how popular it is. Yeah. Uh, like I, like I said, I always knew it was gonna be popular, but it also exceeded my expectations. It was it was it was really weird to see to see the how, just how 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 much people enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, so uh, you know, there are also people I knew that uh, you know a lot of people didn't really watch the show because it was on YouTube Premium, and not a lot of people want that. So I had friends that weren't really interested, but now that it was on Netflix, they were able to give it a shot and they actually really enjoyed it. So that was really yeah. cool. Yeah. Now for the show, did you do any type of training to prepare for the show? Um, any, any mixed martial arts background? Right. So for the show itself, no, but I have been taking karate for about 10 years now, which is how I got into the show in the first place. Yeah. How would you describe the character that you play? <sighs> um... <laughs> 
And how much has he changed throughout the seasons? Right. So he, he started off as kind of like uh, very minuscule. He was just kind yeah. of like off there in the back, um, least noticeable, very small, um, probably the weakest of the bunch. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, as he's, as he's evolved over the, over the series, he's, he's become more notable. Um, you know, people interact with him more. Uh, he's, he's made himself more noticeable. Yeah. And, you know, he's, he's been able to stand up for himself a little more, which I like. How do you like the fight scenes that you do? I that you've them. been through? Yeah. I love them, I love them which, so much. <laughs> which one's been your favorite? Um, the finales, definitely. Like the, like the final fights uh, at the end of each season. I get, I get you know, one big fight scene. Yeah. Uh, and th- those are always my highlights. Yeah. So, you know, obviously, you know, everybody – almost everybody has seen season three. So we'll talk a little spoilers on season three, you know, like you're no longer part of Cobra Kai. True. How did that make you feel when you first read the script and you're like, Oh man, now what? Uh, I was a little nervous at first because I didn't know where I was going to go. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't know if I would even come back. I was like, are they writing me out? I was, I was a little bit nervous. I was excited that it would be such a cool scene to get to do. But yeah. I was also a little bit nervous. But right afterwards, I got reassured by one of the uh, main like directors, producers that I yeah. would be coming back just after a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was nice. So by the end, he became part of another dojo. Yes. Uh, what do you what What do you think of the name of that one? Do you like it? It is awesome. I love it. It is such a and, good name. And you still got the same sensei. And I still got the same sensei. Yeah. How is it working with him, with Billy? He is so awesome. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I've been working with him since like day one of season one. Uh, right. I, I've known him since since I started on the show. He was one. He was basically the first cast member I talked to, and he was he was immediately so nice, and uh, he, he's very interactive, and you know he's he's constantly talking with people, and he's he's really funny, really cool. Uh, so yeah, it's it's always it's always great to work with him. Yeah. Has he given you any pointers since you're new? Since like, you know, he's been active for so many years. This was your first thing. Any pointers? Uh, I wouldn't say any specific pointers. I haven't been able to pick up on the way he acts and try and yeah. learn from that. Yeah. For your character, like what's been, you said uh, you enjoyed the fight scenes. Is there any other scenes that stick out more that you enjoy also that you've been in? Um. Yeah. Like I said, regarding fight scenes, um, yeah. I, I, I really got a soft spot for those finales because they're, they're always so well put together. I mean, all the fights are awesome. I love them so much, but I always find myself coming back to rewatching uh, season finales of the show. Yeah. Uh, just cause I can remember how much work went into it and I can really appreciate how much it paid off. Yeah. Um, obviously season three, episode 10, the finale, you got thrown through a window. I did. I did. <laughs> tell us, tell us about how, you did that scene and like, how do you prepare, how do you prepare for something like that? And when you read it in the script also, was it like, Oh my God, am I going to get thrown through a window? Yes. That was, that was awesome. I, re- I remember showing up. Uh, I-, I remember getting, I think emailed the script for, yeah. for episode 10 and I remember reading through it and I, and I saw that I go crashing through a window and I was, I was astounded. I was like, this is insane. Are they going to throw me through a window? And uh, I, I remember going on to set for that. And obviously they didn't actually throw me through a window. They threw right. a double through. <laughs> I wanted them to, but they, they didn't do that. How, uh, how, uh, how much did you fight for it so you could do it? Uh, uh, not, not much. I, I tried not <laughs> to make, you know, uh, they say no once that's, that's it. You know, yeah. um, it was pretty obvious. I wasn't going to get thrown through. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was, I remember watching the, replay on the screen of my stun double getting thrown through and i was like this is going to look so cool in the final product it's funny because like you know so you get thrown through but then you get up and you're like i got thrown through a window you know like the reaction that you gave and it's like priceless <laughs> right yeah <laughs> so uh, other than you know the main characters or even a main character like who's like your favorite character of cobra kai and why Ooh. That's, that's really tough. That is a really tough question that I've had to answer before. I mean, I like myself the best. I like right. Bert. Uh, you know, um, but if we're, if we're, if we're disregarding myself, then 
I'm not, I'm not really sure if I have like a favorite because I just, I love the stories that every character has to go through. Yeah. They all have their ups and their, they all have their highs and their lows. And it's just, it's, it's always fantastic to get to watch that, especially since I know all of them. Who's the, who's uh, one person that you've had a, like a scene with, like a favorite scene? Um, well, I'd say I've spent the most time with Billy. Uh, yeah. So I, I, I'd say probably uh, I would consider him like my favorite character in that sense that yeah. I've been able to spend the most time around him, watch myself grow, watch him grow, watch the character grow. <laughs> right. Uh, so yeah, I'd, I'd say that'd be my answer. Yeah. If you had any input on season four, if there is a season four, what do you want your character to do? I am not sure. Uh, is there yeah, anything I, you would change about him? You know, I'm not, I'm really not sure about that because, yeah. um, I mean, yeah, sure. It's always nice to imagine the character in a different light, like what, what it would be like, but I really yeah. like the direction that they've, that the writers yeah. have brought my character in. So I'm sure that wherever I go next, they'll, they'll make the right decision. Yeah. Maybe we'll see a spinoff of your character. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure exactly how that would work, but it's a nice <laughs> thought. <laughs> Yeah. Now, for the fans of Cobra Kai, if there was something you would you would tell them, what would you tell them? I'm sure you get you, I'm sure you get blown up with DMs and right things yeah. like that. Yeah, what's something you would tell them? Um, no matter how long the wait is, next time the season four will be worth it. <laughs> there we go. Uh, any other future projects that you got that you worked on no, before no. this or anything? Yeah, or? No, not the moment. No, no. If a dream role, do you have a dream role you want to play someday? No specific dream roles, I would I would say. Um, you yeah. know, just getting to act in general and being part of any role is is just kind of it's 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 my dream job right now. Yeah. How can the listeners find you on uh, and the and the watchers, the listeners and the viewers? How can they find you on uh, social media? Right. Uh, my Instagram is o w three and m zero r g a n, and that's generally where I'm the most active. All right, Owen. Man, thanks for coming on. This was fun. Thank you for having me. Thank <laughs> you.